because it was the preparation that is the day before the Sabbath this is extremely important this verse is extremely important to know when Jesus was crucified exactly what we learned from the verses before that Jesus was crucified in daytime from the sixth hour to the ninth hour it was darkness and at the ninth hour Jesus he gave his soul he died now in here it says that when the evening was come which mean what which mean Jesus was crucified he was dead and then when the evening was come what happened because it was the preparation that is the day before the Sabbath you know many people do not know what is the preparation which is the day that is the day before the Sabbath I want you to focus in the word before the Sabbath before the Sabbath so now what is the preparation day is that special day for the Jews yes it is you know the Jewish they've been ordered to have a feast and that feast uh, is a, a holiday for them it's extremely important to the point that the day after the preparation day is equal to Saturday it's equal to Saturday and you know all of us we knew that Saturday uh, is a holy day for the Jews now where we can find what the preparation day is in the Old Testament let us go and read the same book where we found where is Saturday uh, what Sabbath is which is, is said evening to evening God said to Moses uh, you will see in here in verse number uh, 6 and on the 15th day I remember here look at look what on on the 15th day which means this is the light time time now day is the light time not the perfect day of the same month is the feast and then you will see in the verse this is this is the start of the feast of the Jewish festival or the holiday which is seven days and you have to eat a bed a bread in a specific way is made and you will notice in here in verse number seven in the first day you shall have a conviction you shall do no work therein you cannot do any work so this day is not Saturday but it's equal to Saturday that day is a very holy day you give it only to the Lord to pray and to worship so we can say that this is a Saturday for the Jews but it's not Saturday as a day it is Sabbath because Sabbath is a forbidden day so now what we understand from from this that the Jewish have a, 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 a Sabbath which is a weekly day is a seven day of the week and they have another Sabbath in the Bible which is this day because this is the additional day in the Bible where Jewish are not allowed to work they are not allowed to work it's equal day to Sabbath this is why we you know we can call it the additional Sabbath in the Bible so now the preparation day is the day which before this day remember because we were talking about the preparation day right preparation day is the day will come before this day the first day of the feast because this is what people prepare themselves they prepare their food because they can't work and it's going to be a festival of seven days so this day they are allowed to work preparing themselves for the coming day after and the seven days after after that as we see in here the seven days <coughs> uh, uh, as we see in front of us those seven days all and this one is part of them this day is part of those seven days uh, if you notice with me in here that the preparation day is not part of the festival is not part of the feast it is called preparation because it's nothing important except it is a preparation day where people are allowed to prepare themselves for this festival now if we go to to mark uh, 15 chapter 15 we will see the following again that the preparation day came when the evening come as you see 
and now when the evening come so it was always it was daytime until that time then the evening come and when, when we say evening come what does that mean guys remember that is a start of a new day that would be a start of a new day but but look what mean here what it says that when the evening come which is a new day it was the day before the sabbath which means this is what the new start the new day in here start it's the day before the sabbath but the problem in here when people they get confused is when they see the word sabbath they think that this is a word mean saturday this is not about saturday this is about the preparation day preparation day is a day come always before the sabbath which is not saturday necessarily it can come as saturday but it can can be any day on the week it's always start at the 15th of nisan the 15 the 15th of nisan which is you know because the calendar moving uh, the 15th of nisan it might be monday it might be tuesday it might be friday it might be saturday it might be sunday it might be whatever it is at the Friday, uh, sorry, at, at the 15th of Nisan uh, uh, evening. This is when the that Sabbath start. So this is not Saturday. It can be Saturday though, you know, don't take me wrong. As I said, the calendar move. Like every year, sometime Christmas come at what? At uh, Sunday, sometime come at Monday, sometime it come to a Tuesday. This is what it's meant, right? So. This is a day it's called Sabbath because there is a reason as we showed you before. If we go back in the Old Testament, we will see the following. Uh, you know what? I will play for you the audio so you can hear it. And we will we will hear the, the recording until verse number 6 and 7. Let us hear. Leviticus 23 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein, it is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the fourteenth day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover, and on the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. In the first day ye shall have an holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord seven days. Okay. Now, I think the story is clear. So, there is Saturday as Sabbath, as part of the calendar, and there is a Sabbath which is going to be the 15th day in the same month, which is the month of Nisan, equal to our uh, uh, May. You know, in our calendar we say May. Every 15th of Nisan, for the Jewish calendar, the Jewish, they have to celebrate a festival, the feast. And that festival will be for seven days, as we see, we saw in here. So, that is the Sabbath they are talking about in that verse. The preparation day of the Sabbath. Not the, the one is part of the calendar as the six days. So there is Sabbath that is part of the calendar, which is the seven days. And there is the Sabbath, which is the Passover. This is why they are coming in the same page. Those are two kinds of Sabbath. One is a calendar, day calendar, and one which is a holy day which people they celebrate that festival of the feast and you notice in here the reason it's called sabbath uh, because many people do not notice that because in that day you do not work that's why it's called sabbath but the fact is not sabbath because if, if, if sabbath means saturday this is not saturday it's going to be whatever 15 days of uh, of nisan is going to be if the 15th of nisan evening is going to be uh, Monday is going to be Monday evening if it's Sunday evening is going to be Sunday evening if it's Saturday evening was going so it, it, the calendar move so it's called Sabbath because this day and the normal Sabbath day they 
are not allowed to work you see both of them they are similar in the same thing both are not allowed in it the Jewish to do any kind of work or any kind of activities that's what the verse is saying you shall do it's a holy conviction it's the same it's a holy conviction let me let me show you both they are Sabbath because they are holy conviction this is a holy conviction you shall do no work and you shall do no work therefore both are called Sabbath this day is Sabbath too so those who are they are not much educated about the Bible what do you think they think the word Sabbath means Saturday and here we go it says the day before Sabbath it's mean the day before Saturday this is mean Friday this is not what the Bible is saying the Sabbath in here is the preparation the day it's, it says the day before the preparation the inter, sorry the day the preparation day which is before the Sabbath this is the Sabbath they are talking about there's a festival and that day is a changeable it can be Monday it can be Tuesday it can be Thursday it can be whatever every year is different so that is the Sabbath which is mentioned in that verse and this is where the confusion of many people because they don't read you know this is why you know you want to understand the, the Bible read the Bible but don't don't read a page study the Bible don't study a page don't study a verse so now that being said now the story is clear the Passover the Passover the preparation day is the day who prepare for this festival it is not the festival which means the preparation day is the day which is going to be before this day now Christ is crucified and when the evening came the preparation day started which what which is the day before this day before this day now to find out what this day is is going to be very easy if Jesus he rose in Sunday Jesus rose in Sunday and we can show you many verses in the Bible saying that clearly after the Sabbath after the Sabbath as Saturday he rose from the grave Sabbath as Saturday not Sabbath as the Passover so we will go and take a look and we will see how we can calculate this as long as this is the day before the Sabbath which is the Holy Conviction Day where people are not allowed to work or to do anything we will find the following if we look at the calendar actually before I want to go to the calendar I want to show you in the same book we are reading from if you remember we showed you this verse in here verse number seven because somebody say some somebody might say to me well it doesn't say that this day is Sabbath it's not called Sabbath if we go down in the same page we will see the following just to show you that the Bible call days like those Sabbath here we go the Lord spoke to Moses saying also in the tenth day of the seventh month there shall be a day this is this is a special day which is what is not about a week now be careful as the tenth day of this this seven month so this is an occasion this is not a weekly thing you should do this and this and this and then you go down you will see it says for sure you should not do no work as you see in here you should not do work in that day and then it continue it shall it shall be into you you a Sabbath of rest so Sabbath is what is not just a Saturday because that day is not Saturday and I have nothing to do with Saturday it's called Sabbath too so those days who they are holidays they are conviction days they are days for the Lord all of them they are called Sabbath I hope that verse make it clear for you those days are called Sabbath but they are 